Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone to High Rollers. This week we're going to check out eBay and we actually get quite a bit of vintage. Uh, six of the top 10 sales this week are vintage. That's pretty rare for uh, High Rollers where, where we're looking at eBay sales. Wanted to let everybody know that I'll be on Jeremy Lee's show this Saturday night, Sports Card Live. Uh, from It starts at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific and we're just going to be chatting cards and, and taking you know, questions from the uh, from the live chat. So if you want to stop by, say hello, please do, and hope, hope to see some of you there. Link to that is in uh, the description below. Uh, we're going to jump right in after I mention that this week's list is brought to you by Hoodies Collectibles. They're a consignment company that will sell your cards for you on eBay. Great option for selling cards. I use them regularly myself as part of my overall selling strategy. Strong customer service, competitive rates, quick turnaround times, and they get your cards listed fast. Uh, they also now offer group submissions for Beckett with significantly discounted rates and turnaround times if you're looking to get your raw cards graded at BGS prior to consigning. They handle all the paperwork. You just have to get them the cards and, the, and they do the rest. You can contact them directly for more info. I've included a link to their site as well as their email and phone number in the description below. And I thank Hoodies for sponsoring this week's High Rollers. Looking at the top 10 highest sports card sales on eBay in the first half of November. All right, let's check out some honorable mentions before we count down the top 10, and we will start with pre-war baseball. 1914 Cracker Jack Connie Mack, PSA near mint mint 8 from our Blazer division. That's a pop 2 with none higher, uh, just short of $18,000 in auction. The top 10 will have quite a few 1914 Cracker Jacks. 1909-1911 T206 Tris Speaker, that's a Piedmont back. A PSA near mint mint 8, that's a pop 4 with only 2 higher, another Blazer Division card here, 34 grand plus. Uh, the Babe, 1933 Gowdy Babe Ruth, card number 144, SGC VG3, uh, $13,732. These are all in auction. 1980s Baseball is in the building. Let's get wild. 1986 Top Straighted Tiffany Bo Jackson rookie graded a PSA Gem Mint 10, although it looks a little bit off center there for a 10, but look at that sale. Five figures for the Bo Jackson card. I believe that's the record sale for any Bo Jackson card in sports card history. Not sure about that, but that would be my guess. And uh, don't calm down just yet. 1990s baseball also in the building. Let's get wild again. 1994 Upper Deck dual auto of Mickey Mantle and Ken Griffey Jr., the two most popular players of their respective generations. $14,100 for the BGS 8.5 with a 9 for the auto. Vladimir Guerrero and his 2019 Topps Chrome Rookie. This is the Super Fractor in a BGS Mint 9. Super Fractors are, of course, one of ones, and it goes for $12,000 or just short of that. It seem like that, that you know, could have gone higher. On to football, a couple Tom Brady rookie autos versus 2000 Press Pass certified autograph P, uh, PSA Gem Mint 10. Press Pass didn't have NFL licensing, but $11,300 for the Gem Mint copy. 2000 Fleer Autographics Silver Tom Brady. This is serial numbered out of 250 Rookie auto. This is a PSA near mint seven with a DNA ten for the auto, just into five figures, ten thousand one hundred dollars. The reason I show those two Tom Brady's is I just think they're so incredibly discounted compared to his playoff contenders rookie ticket auto. Now these do not show him in his uh, Patriots uniform, which has to be the uh, the big big you know one of the big reasons for that. Kaboom, two thousand eighteen Panini Kaboom Josh Allen rookie PSA gem mint ten goes for ten thousand one hundred dollars. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine uh, nineteen ninety seven Metal Universe PMG red. Or uh, Ruby, Barry Sanders is numbered out of 150, although really out of 135 since the first 15 are green. PSA near mint mint 8 goes for just short of 20 grand. Look at that sale. 2021 Panini Prism Black Finite Prism Jalen Waddle Rookie. Black Finites are one of ones, and this is a PSA Gem Mint 10. Obviously a pop one with none higher. $14,000. On to basketball, Penny Hardaway, Anthony Hardaway, 2017 Panini Impeccable Jersey Number Auto. That's a one of one, and it's a holder I've never heard of before. A company, uh, GBTC, it looks like Mint 9 with a 10 for the auto, $10,000 uh, $10, plus. I would be hesitant to buy a card for that much money in uh, not one of the major grading company holders. A 1981 Topps Larry Bird. This is not a rookie second year card, but it's the first year where Larry Bird is on a card all by himself. PSA Gem Mint 10 goes for 16 grand plus. Another Larry Bird, all this time he shares it with another all time great. You may have heard of him. Michael Jordan. It's a 2004 exquisite dual script auto. Michael Jordan and Larry Bird, serial numbered out of five. It's actually numbered one of five. $18,000 for the copy, uh, for the ungraded copy. On to hockey, 2005 UD the Cup Limited Logos Alexander Ovechkin rookie patch auto, numbered out of 50. Really impressive patch there, also ungraded. Goes for the equivalent of $14,000 plus American. 
Another Kaboom, well, this time it's a Gold Kaboom from Soccer. 2018 Gold Kaboom, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's zero numbered out of 10, the Gold Kabooms are. BGS Mint 9 goes for $14,600. And more soccer as the uh, World Cup is getting underway here. 2018 Panini Prism, Blue Prism, Killing Mbappe. That's his first Prism card. B, uh, PSA Gem Mint 10, these are numbered out of 199 and it goes for $13,200. And one more soccer, check out that Quad Auto. Two, uh, 2022 Leaf Metal Soccer, Quad Auto. Uh, you got Lionel Messi, Pele, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Erling Holland. That's three of the all-time greats, and Erling Holland, who's one of the top young players in the world today. Uh, a serial number out of four, ten thousand one hundred dollars for the ungraded copy. And we'll finish on Formula One, twenty twenty tops Chrome Formula One uh, red refractor, George Russell, graded a BGS eight point five, numbered out of five, and it goes for twenty three thousand seven hundred dollars. And that brings us to our top ten, and kicking it off at number ten is a 2000 Bowman Chrome Refractor, number 236, Tom Brady Rookie. It's graded BGS Mint 9 with slightly above average level subgrades. You get an 8.5 for centering, but you also get two 9.5s in there. Sold for $37,877. This card has just been falling hard for quite a while now. Uh, about a year ago is when it, it reached its peak with five different sales of a BGS 9 crossing into six figures and an all-time high of 160 grand in really late 2021 but just been a sort of a steady decline since. And this is the lowest sale of a BGS9 in about two years. That covers roughly 15, uh, 15 sales. Just a card that's been falling for a while now. Number nine, 1954 tops. Number 128, Hank Aaron rookie. Graded a PSA, near mint mint eight, and really strong looking eight. Nothing jumps out from the photo uh, uh, as anything wrong with the card. Maybe slight tipped corners, something like that. Centering looks just about perfect. The uh, surface looks really, really strong. Back looks extremely clean as well. I'd say it's a really nice-looking PSA 8. Sold for $45,000 uh, even. This sale's a little bit on the low side, but not really by much. The average of the last 10 PSA 8s is 52000 So, again, a little a little low, but, but not really much if you go by that number. It is a PSA Pop 193, and there are 35 copies graded higher. That includes two PSA 10s, neither of which have ever been put up for sale. Number eight, 1952 tops. Number 311, Mickey Mantle, a high rollers regular. This one's graded a PSA poor one, but certainly presents much, much nicer than a, a one. It is a little off center in both directions, but nothing major. And nothing jumps out from the front as like a serious issue. It looks to have some, some uh, light surface issues. That might be a crease in there. I can't really tell. Slightly tipped rounded corners, but again, nothing major. Front and, and, and the back both look much, much stronger than a one eye appeal wise. Sold for forty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. The sale's pretty high. The last, uh, well, the last four PSA ones were all in the thirties, mostly sort of in the upper thirties. And there was actually a recent sale that went on Heritage Auction of a PSA one for uh, sixty grand. Although that one had like incredible eye appeal, much better than this one. But so I'd, I'd call the sale on the high side, but nothing crazy. Number seven, nineteen fifty-eight Alpha Bolaget, number six thirty-five, Pele rookie. It's graded a PSA EX5, and uh, I can't really tell much of what's going on from the, the picture. The images are sort of blurred and have a lot of glare, but 5 certainly seems reasonable. Pele has a bunch of rookies from 1958. This is one of his most uh, popular, sort of a mini card. Never quite understood why this one was so popular. Mini card seems more of like an oddball item, but, uh, you know, the hobby has spoken over my opinion here. Sold for $48,887. It's just the second ever known sale of a PSA 5. The first was actually uh, just a couple months prior to this one went for 66 grand on Golden. So I guess compared to that, this would be you know a pretty low sale. It is a PSA Pop 11, and there are 32 copies graded higher. The highest grade ever given out is a nine. Number six, I don't care if I never get back. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Here's a 1914 Cracker Jack number 30, Ty Cobb. Graded PSA VGEX4, and uh, you got these in, well, yeah, you guessed it, boxes of Cracker Jacks, and these often come with stains, and that sort of seems to be the biggest issue with this card. Some sort of staining towards the top of the card uh, would be the most notable issue. It's sort of off-white borders, and other, everything else looks pretty nice. Centering's pretty strong. Uh, corners are lightly tipped, but certainly nothing crazy, and the rest of the surface looks pretty nice. The uh, back, you can see, has some uh, staining there as well. Sold for $49,768. It's the first sale of a PSA 4 in over a year. The last two sales were both in 2021, uh, early 2021. They went for fifty dollars and $58,000. So 
the sale seems about right if you were to compare uh, compare it to those. It is a PSA Pop 12, and there are 25 copies graded higher. The highest grade ever given out is an 8.5. Number five, sticking with Cracker Jack, 1914 Cracker Jack. Number 88, Christy Mathewson. It's graded an SGC Good 2, and I don't know uh, exactly how SGC standards are with these sort of cards, but that missing piece along the right border strikes me as an automatic 1 or authentic uh, but I guess, uh, how is that not a one? But, but I guess SGC has a different, maybe I've, they just have different different rules for this card or, or cards like this. But anyway, SGC good two goes for $51,600. This is Matthewson's first ever appearance on a high rollers list. Welcome, Christy. It's the first uh, sale of an SGC two in over a year, actually. Very similar to the Cobb. The last one was in August of 2021. That went for sixty five grand. So the sale here sort of makes sense compared to that. It's an SGC Pop 3, and there are 11 copies graded higher. The highest grade ever given out by SGC is a 7.5. Number 4, 2018 National Treasures Rookie Patch Autograph Horizontal Bronze. Number 127, Luka Doncic Rookie. It is graded BGS Mint 9 uh, with subgrades above average. But actually, very strong subgrades. You get a 9.5 and a 10 in there. Really nice three-color patch. The card is numbered out of... 25 uh, the auto also gets a 10 score sold for fifty seven thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents sales pretty high the, It's actually the first sale of a bgs 9 since march and that one went for forty one thousand so i mean you would have thought that the one in march would outsell the one today based on the state of the hobby but like i said this sale is is uh, definitely on the high side number three 2019 national treasures patch auto number 108 Zion Williamson rookie, graded BGS near mint mint plus 8.5. Uh, strong subgrade sort of. You get three nines, but you also get a 7.5 for surface. The card is numbered out of 99, and you get a nice uh, three color patch there. The auto gets a 10 score. Sold in auction for $64,100. The sale is actually kind of high. It's the uh, fourth ever known sale of a BGS 8.5, and the last two went for 48 and 53. And those were earlier, uh, well, those were a few a few months ago. So, again, the sales definitely, you know, on the, on the high side, I would say. Number two, 2017 National Treasures Patch Autograph, number 161, Patrick Mahomes Rookie, graded a BGS Mint 9. Uh, subgrades are average for the grade. You get a 9.5, but also an 8.5. Card still numbered out of 99. Not a particularly impressive one-color patch. And the auto gets a 10 score. Sold in auction for $90,100. There's actually been a number of recent sales of BGS 9 copies of this card. And they average uh, 95000 So nothing crazy going on here with the sale. Maybe a tad on the low side, but really not by much. And number one, for those of you paying attention, now there's one more Cracker Jack card left to be revealed. And here it is. 1914 Cracker Jack, number 103, Shoeless Joe Jackson. It's graded a PSA EX5 with some uh, light standing along, mainly along the left border, and it's a little off-center left to right. Everything else looks pretty solid. The uh, back has some staining uh, uh, throughout the back, which, but that's basically standard on all of the uh, Cracker Jack cards. Sold in auction for $105,100. The sale's pretty low. The last sale of a PSA 5 uh, was all the way back in January. That went for $240,000, so... More than a 50% drop in the last 10, 10 months. Uh, before that, the one the last PSA 5 sold about a year and a half ago for 116000 And I guess technically this is the third highest ever known sale of a PSA 5. But again, compared to the last two sales, that's you know pretty, pretty low. It's a PSA Pop 5, and there are only three copies graded higher. Those three copies include 1.6, 1.7, 1.7, and 1.8. But that's it. Your top 10 this week featured no duplicate players. One each of Patrick Mahomes, Zion Williamson, Tom Brady, Pele, Hank Aaron, Mickey Mantle, Luka Doncic, Ty Cobb, Shoeless Joe Jackson, and newcomer Christy Mathewson. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow is regular rollers, and we'll see you all again real soon. Thanks everyone.